I was very delighted to see that uh, I was given an award. Actually, for these icons of healthcare is uh, very familiar to me because this is the third year that I'm attending this function. Panel discussion was tremendously good. And I think the people appreciated it very much. The structure of the whole program was good and then the topics were good, particularly on technology and healthcare. When I started interventional cardiology, initially it was very difficult because we had to stand by for the cardiothoracic surgeons. Because it was new in the world, you know, even though it started in the United States, you know, and it came back to Europe and came here. But today, we don't have to have a surgical standby. Those days, it was difficult. The balloons were fixed. The wire was fixed. Now you got the wires can be mobilized to anywhere. There are different types of stands. Then original, those days, there was no stand, only balloon. So when you, when you dilate the artery, which is blocked with the balloon, we have to give the antiplatelets, and then it can re-block. Then came stent, which was a metallic mesh. Originally, it was metallic coil. Even then, the thrombus, that is the clocking of it by blood clots were very high. Then we started dual antiplatelet therapy. That means two antiplatelets. Then the strut thickness became thinner and stronger. And then many companies came into force, you know. Then even we had drug diluting, uh, not only that, absorbing stents. So the stent industry has come up. And then initially, still bypass surgery was preferred for interventional cardiology, such as ballooning and stenting. Today, any case which is almost as bad as to be done by bypass, we can do it. We do it for three vessel disease, left main. All these were unknown in the olden days. We are probably, I mean, I don't want to say it's praise too much, the best in this part of the world, Singapore. Not only that, we have the best technology. Our doctors go to various countries for training. We call, say, for example, US, uh, we go to Japan, we go to UK, Germany, Australia, and all that. Then they also come here. In fact, very many people, many cardiologists come to Singapore for training. So I would say that we are probably the best in this part of the world. I won't say the best in the world, but in this part of the world, because neighboring countries in Asia, Japan and Korea are also very good, actually. You know? So United States, Europe, Japan, Korea, Singapore, these are the top. Maybe then you add in Australia. But India is also not bad, but the work, work is quite good, actually, you know, in India. And they have also got uh, various top-class hospitals. I don't mean all hospitals are good, but Singapore, the standard is such that everybody got, you know, being watched by the ministry. So they had to go for the CME. Well, well, it is also there in any other countries, but we are very strict about it. This evening was very nice because to start with, we had some entertainment, and then we had two panel discussions, and they were very good in technology because they were all focusing on technology. And they were even telling that whether technology can be applied to the old age. I tell you one, one example. Now, if not for technology, Mahathir today is the prime minister of uh, Malaysia, he is 93, he had two bypass, he is still well. That is technology. If he didn't have it, he might not have been that strong. He is mentally sound, physically sound. We, I had one patient who was 96 years old, and I did angioplasty and standing. So the grandchildren asked, why you want to do all these things? But what I wanted on him was quality of life. Yeah, he might not prolong his life to 120, he cannot, that's not possible. But if he lives two, three years with no pain, that is quality of life. We are very happy about it. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you.